And for more on the future of traveling, I'm joined now by Lee Avalmonte in New York. He's a multimedia travel personality who has visited all 193 UN member states. Lee, uh, so describe if you can the financial impact that this uh, pandemic has had on the tourism industry, especially inside of China. Uh, it's it's immeasurable to be honest because uh, foreign tourists, domestic tourists, uh, loss of hotel rooms, flights, uh, as as the uh, previous segment said, Airbnb, and, and so many more restaurants, bars, uh, Ubers. You know the sharing economy, everything. It's hard to measure. So when do you think we'll see the resumption of leisure travel? Um, I'm already seeing different alerts that. Greece will open up in July, other European countries. Do you think that will vary by region and then also by different parts of the world, depending where they are in this pandemic? Yeah, it's going to vary without question by country, by region, uh, in bigger countries, uh, different sections within countries, for sure, whether it's China or the U.S. or uh, Brazil, you know, bigger countries. And there's no one size fits all. And then some countries are going to have restrictions against uh, citizens of certain nations because of uh, uh, rates of infection and, and other factors. So, um, for instance, Americans, I think, are going to have some trouble going to certain countries without quarantining once they reach a country for a couple of weeks. And, and probably other nations like China or Italy or France, Spain might see some of the same treatment. So what advice do you have for people who are trying to consider when they can go, where they should go, um, and especially when they're trying to plan trips and vacations? How far out are they looking? Should they stay domestic? Uh, what are you telling people? I'm telling people to, uh, if you're going to buy flights or book hotels, just make sure they're refundable because we just don't know. The virus is going to decide what happens here. And uh, once things start opening up, whether it's quickly, too quickly, what have you, we don't really know. So we're going to have to wait and see. And, uh, you know, I'm telling people basically like I'm doing. I mean, I've traveled to every country in the world, but I'm pretty much staying home. Uh, there's nowhere to go really at the moment. And uh, the hassles at the airports and, and different uh, variables of travel are just too great for me to deal with at this point. So I'm just waiting. And, uh, you know, I think the road trip is uh, is the new international travel for 2020. So long term, I know you said that a lot of this is unpredictable, but how do you think tourism will change and what kind of permanent changes could we see as we travel through airports, check into hotels? I mean, do you think we'll see some concrete changes in the next year or two? Well, from what I'm reading and what I'm hearing from colleagues, uh, places like hotels are going to be doing a lot of contactless check-in, uh, keyless entry, things like that. They're going to invest more in technology, and so there's less person-to-person uh, -person interactions. Uh, airports, same thing. I hear uh, some airports are talking about asking people to get to the airport three or four hours early and potentially even go through um, disinfecting machines. So the, the answer is it's still kind of early to tell, but I think that uh, no matter what, uh, the travel industry, especially airlines and hotels and cruises, are going to be a lot more hygienic in the future. I think that's uh, unquestionable.